Harry's marriage proposal is just a week away. He's keen to look his best. But Kerbox has other plans. He loves his physique, loves his appearance, and we've sneakily got him to the salon here to have some fun with him. Hoppo and Kerbox have convinced Harry's to top up his tan before the proposal. We're going to get him in the booth, we're going to strip him, we're going to spray him. But they omitted one important fact. Unfortunately, it's going to be the wrong colour. We're going to nail him. He's been a little pale the summer, hasn't been that good, so I thought <laughs> yeah. I'd shout him up here. I'll just get you to put on this G-string. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Hoppo, what have you got me into here? <laughs> That's a breathing apparatus. <laughs> That's for SARS. I <laughs> can't put that over me. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. That looks good. You yeah, can't be serious. Good. <laughs> Mate, you need a lot of work. <laughs> With blacked out goggles and close to nude, Harry's couldn't be more vulnerable. Kerbox and Hoppo convinced him to top up his tan for the big moment. They promised to pay. I feel, I feel it. But they didn't promise the colour. I nearly peed my pants because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I, I could have worked on <laughs> Harry's retreats to the showers. Why are you gone? Only to find more hecklers. What do you need a spray tan for? You work on a beach. <laughs> Can you? Get, get your ring out. Look, I'm just seriously, I have Come to go. On. On. Just just give us a quick look. I've got to go. Oh, Harry, where are you going, mate? Oh, the Smurf. You never see him angry, but he's quite clearly angry, isn't he? No, he's fuming. Yeah. <laughs> he's blue. He looks like a Smurf. No, I just tell quickly what happened. Wait, I still look that much better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Bondi leaves another indelible mark. They 